What gives a king power? Some believe it is strength. Some believe it is the respect or fear they command. Some say it is cunning. Many believe the lion possesses all these qualities and is worthy to be called the king of beasts. But the lion is only a pretender to the throne. There is a true king, the tiger. In the harsh environment of the jungle, with its constant life and death struggle, the tiger stands as the apex predator. It fears no competition other than its own species and takes what it wants freely. Even lions can't compete with the tiger. How are tigers so powerful? And why are they better than lions? It's time to explore the facts. What exactly is a tiger? The tiger, with the scientific name Panthera tigris, is the largest member of the cat family. The genus Panthera includes all big cats, which have the ability to roar. The word Panthera is derived from ancient Greek, pan meaning all, and thera which means that which is hunted, beast, or game. Combined, it means the beast that hunts all others. The species name tigris is Greek for arrow, derived from the strait as an arrow and fast-flowing Tigris River, which lies between Turkey and the Persian Gulf, where the tiger was first discovered and recorded in 1788. The cat family includes the cheetah, leopard, jaguar, puma, domestic cats, and of course the lion, which closely rivals the tiger in strength and ferocity. Two main subspecies of tiger, the Bengal and the Sumatra tiger, live in the jungles of the Indian subcontinent. These species are the most numerous and account for about half of the total tiger population in the world. Other species thrive across various environments and a broad range of habitats. That also includes the mangrove swamps, grasslands, and even the temperate tundras of Siberia. Tigers can be found in multiple countries, from the Russian Far East through parts of North Korea, China, India, and Southeast Asia, to the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Male tigers are typically larger than females and may attain a shoulder height of about one meter and a body length of about 2.2 meters, excluding the tail, which is about one meter long. The average weight of all tiger species is about 350 to 500 pounds. One thing interesting about tigers is how there's a correlation between size, stripe patterns, and their location. Scientists have observed that generally, tigers from the dense southern regions of the world are smaller and have thicker and darker stripe patterns than those from the colder northern regions. The northern tigers are much larger in size and have thinner stripes, as well as pale furs. The Siberian tiger also has longer and thicker furs, which is an adaptation to its colder environment. Tigers are highly adaptive to their environment, and these changes may help them survive better in their respective environments. In fact, the Siberian or Amur tiger can weigh up to 900 pounds. That is one hefty beast. So what exactly makes the tiger superior to the lion then? Don't lions evolve too? The lion is usually referred to as the king of the jungle, but perhaps the time has come for a change. Initially, the lion got this name due to its mane, which resembles a crown and makes it appear much larger than it is. The mane also helps protect the lion's neck from the deadly bite of its close competitor in the African grasslands, the hyena. Imagine that, a king in competition with a jester, the laughing hyena. The lion might have a mane for a crown. It might be the leader of a pride. It might even lord it over other animals. But one thing is certain, it is no true king of the jungle. First, lions don't even live in jungles. Lions with their distinct brown coloration are perfectly adapted for the grasslands of Africa, where the tree population is sparse. Their yellowish brown skin is perfectly camouflaged with the yellow color of the grasses and make them difficult to be spotted by prey. They are certainly not naturally adapted for the dense jungles which tigers call home. You can't be king in a place where you cannot naturally survive, right? Speaking of survival, the tiger's habitat is also much more expansive than the lion's. 
This is also due to the fact the tiger can swim across long distances, something that the lion is very reluctant and unable to do. Lions only swim short distances across streams and lakes. With their swimming capabilities, tigers can even cross the ocean. There have been tigers found on isolated islands, where they evolved uniquely compared to their mainland counterparts. The thought of getting chased by a tiger swimming across the ocean to catch you is scary. In fact, the longest recorded swim performed by a tiger is an astonishing 18 miles. Lions are also not as well suited for colder regions. Unlike tigers who can survive temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So in terms of territory, the tiger definitely wins out. Even in terms of strength and ferocity, the lion cannot hope to match the tiger. Firstly, the tiger is much larger than the lion, despite the lion's best attempt to appear bigger with its mane. On average, a tiger is about 120 pounds heavier than a lion. The tiger's bite also packs quite a punch, 1,000 pounds of sheer bite force to be exact. Lions only have a bite force of 650 PSI, which is not much stronger than the hardest biting domestic dog, the English Mastiff, 550 PSI, of course. This is balanced out by them hunting in packs to take down their prey, but individually lions are definitely weaker. The tiger, unlike the lions, is able to comfortably stand on its hind legs, which are longer than its front legs, whereas the lion stands on three paws and readies to attack with just one paw, a noticeable disadvantage when it comes to direct combat compared to the tiger. And tigers are much stealthier too. While a group of lions is called a pride, a group of tigers is ominously called an ambush, and for good reason as well. It is said that before you see a tiger in the wild, it has already seen you, a characteristic that makes them more difficult to poach and hunt than lions. Any decline in the tiger population is usually due to death by poison, as they are not as easily hunted as the lions. Aside from physical advantage, there's another surprising fact that gives tigers the advantage over lions. The tiger has a larger brain size, about 25% more than the lion. This makes it more cunning and strategic than its feline counterpart, an important trait for a solitary animal which mostly survives on its own rather than in the social structure the lions enjoy. The big brain tiger is also able to imitate the call of other animals, especially its favorite food, the water buffalo. There have been reports of tigers mooing like cows to trick cattle before pouncing. The type of prey each of these animals goes for also shows how strong they are and who should really be king. Aside from water buffaloes, there have even been reports of tiger attacks on elephants. Lions can hunt elephants as well, but they usually try to avoid the adult ones, as these adult elephants are tough to attack. Even hunting deer needs a pack of lions to work together, but tigers don't care. They'll just pounce on the elephant and start chewing, until the creature fights back or dies. Their different modes of taking down prey are also telling. A lion will usually charge and go for the throat while facing its prey, whereas the tiger can stealthily ambush its prey before pouncing and delivering a fatal bite to the back of the neck. With this technique, a single tiger is able to take down much larger prey for itself than a group of lions can manage. And of course, there's also their teeth. Yes, teeth. With just 30 teeth, the tiger has fewer teeth than other carnivores, including the dog. Dogs have 42 teeth. But in exchange, tigers have the longest and largest canine teeth of all the big cat species. These canines are packed with pressure-sensing nerves that enable the tiger to identify the precise location needed to sever its prey's neck. And that's not all. Tigers also have knife-shaped back teeth, called carnassials. These are razor-sharp like their shape implies and can shear meat off their prey. Tigers will then swallow these large pieces of meat whole. Even their tongues are specialized for hunting. The tiger's tongue is also incredibly abrasive and is covered with numerous small, sharp, rear-facing projections called papillae. These papillae give the tongue a texture like sandpaper. This means a tiger can lick the feathers, fur, and meat clean off from the bone of the prey. Tigers seem to have evolved to be the perfect hunting machine. That's a scary thought, 
In fact, they are powerful enough to take down other apex predators. A true apex predator, the tiger also kills other big cats like the leopard. Tigers are also known to attack dangerous animals like the polar bear or the Indian bison. Mind you, these creatures can easily disable them with a well-placed kick or swipe of a claw. But tigers persist anyway, because they are relentless killing machines. And there's one last strange fact about tigers. They have eyes in the back of their heads. No, not actual eyes. They're not that weird. These are eye-like markings on their coats that serve as warnings to other predators. Humans may know these are simply markings, of course, but animals don't. Any animal that spots these strange markings will be tricked into backing off, unless they're another tiger, in which case they're likely to just attack anyway to assert dominance. Tigers may also consume up to 88 pounds of meat at one time. It is estimated that every tiger consumes about 50 deer-sized animals each year, about one per week, truly a meal fit for a king. Seeing how powerful and majestic tigers are, it's little wonder that the tiger appears a lot in the symbolism and mythology of various cultures. Beyond their role in the natural world, tigers hold immense cultural significance. In fact, the tiger is the national animal of Bangladesh, India, South Korea, and Malaysia. The markings on a tiger's forehead also closely resemble the Chinese character for king, giving tigers a cultural status in China as a regal animal. Also in Chinese folklore, the tiger is one of the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac and ranks third in the 12-year cycle of the Chinese zodiac signs. Tigers, considered to be brave, cruel, forceful, and terrifying, are the symbol of wealth, power, and lordliness in Chinese culture. People born under the tiger zodiac are said to be natural leaders. They are adventurous, ambitious, and have a strong sense of justice, but maybe also a little arrogant and impetuous. In ancient times, people usually compared emperors or kings with the tigers. They were also associated with bravery and considered protectors against evil spirits. Tigers are also seen as patron deities for children. It's common to see parents preparing shoes and hats with tiger designs for their babies. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Durga is often depicted riding a tiger. The tiger, in this context, represents Durga's divine power and strength. The association of the tiger with a powerful goddess underscores its symbolic significance as a force that can overcome adversity. In Korean folklore, the tiger and magpie myth is prominent. Tigers are portrayed as formidable creatures, while magpies are seen as messengers between the living and the dead. This myth often emphasizes the duality of good and evil life and death. Many indigenous cultures in various parts of Southeast Asia also have myths featuring tigers as both revered and feared figures. Tigers are sometimes considered supernatural beings, possessing magical qualities. Some stories depict tigers as protectors of the forest or as shapeshifters with the ability to transform into human form. In Western cultures, where tigers are not native, they often appear in stories as exotic and mysterious creatures. In literature and art, tigers symbolize the untamed and wild aspects of nature. They are sometimes used as metaphors for power, danger, or the struggle between civilization and the wild. Even the poet William Blake wrote a poem about this majestic beast entitled The Tiger, with its iconic opening lines being Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright, in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame your fearful symmetry? Tigers are also one of the most common animals used as mascots across several professional sports teams. Some of these teams include the English football team, the American Cincinnati, and the Nigerian national basketball team. The tiger embodies both the fearsome and awe-inspiring aspects of nature, and their presence in cultural stories often serves as a reminder of the deep connection between humanity and the natural world. Although society might think of the lion as the king of the jungle, the tiger undoubtedly remains the one true king.